Hello friends, so today we are going to discuss the problem A from educational code forces round 91. Code forces educational rounds has good questions but this contest hold unrated because of some issues on the platform. But as you know that code forces is improving itself that's why they have some problems in the recent contest but I know that they will improve. But you should always try to do these questions because they always help you to improve your knowledge. So let's start with the first question. The first question is three indices. So you are given a permutation of all the numbers from 1 till n and you have to find out what indices, three indices i, j and k such that they are increasing like k is greater than j and j is greater than i and the jth element is greater than the ith element and the kth element you have chosen which is mean that it is just forming a peak. Okay. And if this exists in some, some like indices, you have to output yes or no. So as you can see, I'll take it on to the code. In such type of questions of peak, always try to draw to make it more clear. So let's assume that you are given some numbers. Okay, so let's assume you give them some rating or the some numbers. So like let's assume you have like 1, 5, 3, 5 and 1. So this is the index you are given like 1 on a num vector of numbers you are given is 1, 5, 3, 5, 1. Okay. Now as you can see that you can choose this number also such that you can choose this index, the first, second, third index, the third index, the first index and the last index. Because as you can see this index is greater than the two previous index and uh, like so this is satisfying the condition but as you can see you can always choose some peak also because I can also choose this number 5 and for 5 like this number is smaller and this number is also smaller so as you can see if you find out some peak in the given or like the vector of numbers then there exists some triplet or else if the whole like if all the numbers are increasing or all the numbers are decreasing or such that they increase up to some point and then they go like constant or like they are constant and then decreasing. So there is not a peak in such types of vectors or number and thus as you can see there is no answer and the answer is no else you don't need to actually see that if there is one j here then i can be somewhere down there like if like as you can see if j is equal to 3 then you can always don't look for a number like i can be equal to 1 but they can also exist a peak such that they all the three numbers are consecutive as you can see all the three numbers are consecutive and thus you just iterate over the whole array and see if there exists some peak because we are just looking for a peak if there exists some peak then there, are, there exists some answer though there can be these type of cases also but if this type of case exists then there must be a peak also Okay, as you can see from the example, if there is some valley, then there can be some peak also. Or else these four cases will occur and there is no answer. If not all these cases will occur, then there must be some peak there. So that's the whole logic. I'll take it on to the code part now. Code is also very simple. Just iterate, store all the numbers in the vector. Iterate over all the numbers from like the, not start from the first index, but because you have to check for every number, just check its left number and its right number. If both of the numbers are smaller than the current number on which we are, then it is forming a peak and just answer it, return the answer. So start from the index 1 till the last minus 1 index. Check that whether the ith index is greater than the previous and the next index, it is forming a peak and answer yes and return the three indices according to the one indices. Uh, one indices means that because uh, we are stating that we are taking the index from 0 but because in the question the indices are from 1, so just output all the indices with the consecutive indices else if you don't get any answer you don't write on out of this loop you just output no in the answer in the final answer i hope you understand the logic as well as the code if you still have any doubts please mention down thank you for watching this video and stay tuned i'll, I'll be posting more videos recently so go check them out also i'll see you in the next one keep coding bye